We are here for a live investigation. Yes, we are live. Did I mention? We are live right now. From a very, very haunted place. I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet though. Some of you, I believe in the chat though, have already guessed where we are. If you didn't guess from like the little snippets in my montage, here's a clue. We have been here before, twice before, and we love it here. This is one of the most haunted places in Wales or in the United Kingdom. And we have a lot of stories to share from this place. So we thought, why not kick off spooky season? You know, we're heading into October. We have a massive October lineup, but we thought let's do a live stream investigation with everybody first. Right? I think I just heard thunder rolling as well. <laughs> There's definitely like wind and thunder tonight. It's pretty ferocious outside where, where we are. You don't know where we are yet though. But I do just want to say hello to everyone in the chat. I have been watching you all in here and like, thank you DA, thank you Mayor. I know you guys sent um, some super chats. We really appreciate that. I know so we have some new YouTube members as well. Thank you and hello to everyone there. Oh, Haunted Horizons are here. Hey guys. Sherry, Linda, Mandy, Kevin. You guys are all awesome. Also like put in the chat if you can guess where we are. I know some people have already guessed it, but if you know, you want to throw out a guess. No it. bats, birds, Matt react. I don't think, not tonight. No, but already we have had a blackout. Just before we were about to go live, it was extremely stressful. All the power went out in this location. We have batteries, so we're good. And then the alarm was going off. Like we do have I don't want to give it too much away, but we do have a toilet that just went off down here. You guys know how we love the toilets on Amy's crib. <laughs> um, I do just want to say real quick, uh, we do have brand new uh, limited edition Halloween merch just gone on sale. Later in the week, I will be releasing my full October lineup with a, a trailer. I'm really proud of it and really, really excited to share it with you guys. Some of my uh, YouTube members and patrons have already seen it. Um, and I know that they're pretty hyped, so I'm excited to share that. We also have some very special guests tonight who I will share with you shortly, but these guests are very, very special and dear to my heart, to Jared's heart as well. And they're gonna be dear to your hearts as well. You guys are gonna be so excited when you see who we're like investigating with tonight. Really, really excited to have them along. And we've already been sort of reaching out and getting the spirits warmed up for this live stream. Before we go too far as well into the investigation, I also just wanna say, please use the chat, but if Jared and I miss your comment, it's just because we're super busy, we're, we're trying to make sure everyone has, you know, a good time in the live stream, as well as the ghosts here. We hope the ghosts have a good time and come out to play and interact with us. Um, but yeah, leave, leave a, a comment, engage with one another in the live stream. But once the video is done, if you really have something important to say, leave a comment on the actual video and we'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. But we love you all. If you tuned in, you're watching, we love you. So We've already I... got 899 people, Ames. I am so nervous. I feel like my soul just left my body before we If went you see live. the camera shaking, guys, that's Jared because I am shaking. <laughs> I get nervous with lives. Yeah, we're super, super nervous, but also excited. So I'm hoping that our energy, you know, brings something to the investigation tonight. But should we introduce our guests? Yes. Tonight? Okay, we have some very, very special guests over here. And thank you guys for being here. Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> So I have Laura and Eric from The Paranormal Scholar, one of my favorite YouTube channels. If you guys don't know about this YouTube channel, look it up, subscribe. Like the research you guys do is amazing. And every time we work with you, I learn something. Already tonight, like these guys have been teaching me about Ouija boards and stuff. Like it's amazing to have you guys along. Thank you for having us. It's an exceptional place. It's so atmospheric. We're really, yeah, really, it's incredible, really happy it? to be here tonight. This is your first time here, right? Oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Cool. Without giving too much away, what are your vibes? Like, do you have any areas that you're like, ooh? There's a few areas, definitely. You can feel the history of this place. It is super old. I would say room two, we've felt some really weird stuff already. Yeah. Like the atmosphere in that room is very charged. Feels so I'm like. looking forward to going there later. Yeah. Seeing what we pick up. I'm pumped for room two as well. So another clue, room two. There's also a clue hanging up above Laura's head there. Can they read that? <laughs> they might be able to. And another clue, something called the devil's cup. Hey, hey. Ooh, right over there. Just here. And that's pretty much a superstitious thing. Like every night at the end of, you know, your bar shift, you would pour a little drink for the devil to keep him at bay and keep the bad things out. But the cup, it's not been filled in a while so yeah. i don't know if it's a good bad or bad thing 
Who knows? Yeah, will that but, bring any energy tonight? I don't know. Yeah, but are people guessing where we are? Yeah, some know? people have guessed the... Um, someone guessed the Skirit Inn. Someone guessed the Ancient Ram Inn. Um, I'm just reading through some comments here. Someone guessed Wales. Yes, Lisa. Yep, you're spot on with yes, Wales there, yes. definitely. Um, yeah, yep. Michelle also guessed Wales. Another Ram Inn from Shelby. Um, yeah. Should I reveal where we are? I think should we I should. I think it's time, yeah. Okay, some of you got it. It is the Skirid Inn. The Skirid Inn, a gorgeous and historic little pub known for being the oldest inn in Wales, but also one of its most haunted. During the Skirid's 900 year existence, it has seen its fair share of death. The building's earlier days saw its upper floors used as a courthouse where prisoners could conveniently not only be jailed, yet also executed. With rumours stating that around 180 hangings took place right over the inn's staircase. No building gets away, unscathed by the paranormal, while having a dark history such as this. And there are said to be many resident ghosts at the Skirit Inn. Some say that a former judge still resides in the old courtroom upstairs, while others claim an angry hangman with a thirst for punishment lingers near the staircase, known to harm visitors who have even had rope burns form on their necks. Then there are other spirits said to linger, haunting the areas they were once imprisoned, still disgruntled about their executions. Though not all of the ghosts of the Skirids are related to the building's past with hangings, a priest is said to haunt the downstairs pub area, while a woman named Fanny Price has remained in the upstairs bedrooms since she died of tuberculosis in the 1800s. Many to enter the Skirid Inn have claimed to have run-ins with the paranormal, whether that be sighting shadow figures or apparitions, smelling scents that are out of place, hearing voices or footsteps, and even being overcome with dizzying sensations. But now, let's get stuck into our first investigation. to investigate the staircase one of the most notorious places here at the Skirid Inn if you're liking this so far hit the thumbs up button I do just want to make a note we do have the EMF tripwire down here uh, shadow entities or shadow figures have been seen in this hallway so I'm interested if we get any fluctuations here um, coming up to the staircase thanks Matt react for the super chat we appreciate that thank you this beam here is also notorious the original hanging beam you can actually see grooves in it as well where, you know, the rope would have swung around. But um, they do have a noose here. It is depicting where they believe a lot of hangings. The local legend is about 180 hangings occurred here from this staircase. So a lot of energy and we have had activity in this area before. And we've got one of the lanterns on there just in case. I'll be able to keep an eye on that. And yeah. They have initials carved into this as well. I've never noticed that. And Ooh. I love stuff like that. Oh, wow, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, definitely. Not like old timey words, or is that a double V even maybe? It could be. We learn about the double V a lot as like a, a witch sign, like a virgin of virgins to sort of protect against evil spirits, but this almost has like woo woo all over it. I feel like you also need to introduce this guy, Ames. Does oh, he have a name? I, I don't know if he has a name. I love him though, he is very frightening when you're walking up and down this dark staircase in the middle of the night doing paranormal investigation and you see him. I know he's got you, Laura, a few times, hasn't he? Yes, he? Has, he has. <laughs> Probably about five times already tonight. Yeah. Every time I walk up here, yeah, he gives me a jolt. Should we go lights out for this bit, sort of? Yeah. Just temporarily? There you go. We also have a REM pod in the little prisoner's cell here on the staircase. There it is. And I don't know if anyone has seen our last investigation here, but Jared got attacked by a moth in there. <laughs> yes, that did happen. We're trying to forget. Well, you're trying to forget. I'm not. That was funny. <laughs> so what's our first uh, experiment, names? So I think we're going to roll Ghost Tooth Box. And obviously we've got, you know, EMF down here. Eric's down there, like, letting us know if that goes off. Because I don't want to be too close with the phone in case our live streaming interacts with it, if that makes sense. But the REM pod is proximity, so... 
Thanks, David, for gifting those memberships too. We appreciate that. Oh, thank you. That's so awesome when you guys do that. That's so nice. I think we definitely have a good vantage point here. We can see up into the two rooms because the doors are open to them. So I also I can also see the REM pod, and if I need to, I can jump to the the trip wire down there, and yeah, the lantern. So I think we're good. Okay, so that's cool. thanks for the super chat. Uh, oh, I missed it. Danny Yale, I think it was. Oh, it's too Thank fast. Thank you so much. We, we appreciate you all. All right, so we're going to run Vox, guys, and see what we get on the staircase. So my name is Amy, and I'm here tonight with Laura, Jared, and Eric. And we call out to any of the spirits of the Skirred Inn. We invite you to join us on the staircase. If you can come up towards the red light here next to us. If you go real close to that, that will light up and just make some noise. Or you could walk down the hallway past those purple lights or maybe you can come up and say hello to me and use this device in my hand to talk and I'm just going to roll ghost to box now Righteous. if you guys hear any words in the chat if you just pop them in the chat we would love that as well thanks for the super chat Sarah is your business If there is anybody here, can you step forward and share a name, please? Yeah, just... If you could just, that's what I feel like it, it said. Um, if you could just step up and use your energy, maybe you can manipulate this device. We would love to hear from you. Told you for... What did you tell us? Maybe you were trying to tell us your name earlier in the night when we were trying to talk to you? Regina thought it said you just. I feel like it said that as well. Also guys, tip with goes to box. If you want to mute it to ask a question, you literally just hold your finger down on the sound wave it will mute it so that you're not getting responses through over your own voice, if that makes sense. So is, does anyone have questions to ask for? KJ Haunting said, told you for, I reckon I had told you for, or Vicky said, told you before, maybe. Mm. That's yeah. what I thought. It did sound like... a bit impatient. So. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. were, we, and guys, for context, we were reaching out earlier before we started filming. <laughs> yeah, and we'll tell you a little bit about that as well. Um, we apologize if it's hard to communicate with us. I, I know that must be frustrating. Um, but we appreciate anything that you can tell me about your connection to this place, maybe why you're here. Thanks for the super chat, Lisa. Thank Merlin you. wants to know, what year is it for you? Okay. Spirits, what year is it for you? John reckons it said, told you, fool. Maybe it was calling us a fool. It seems to have gone quiet now. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to ask a question, Laura? It might like you more than me. Okay. Is there uh, something that you would like to tell us about what happened here? If it's hard to talk through this, maybe you could also make a noise, knock on something like this. We've heard you do that in the past before, and if you can do that again, that just shows us that you're around. Thanks for the super chat, Michelle. Thank you. We're not here to judge you. Perhaps you were judged in life, and you're concerned that we're here to judge you. We're not here to judge you. We're here to listen to you. Raven wants, 
Raven wants to know if Raven wants to know if you were hanged here. I felt like it might have said something about what you will see. Oh. Um. Okay. Um. Are you going to show us something tonight? What should we look out for? Nuba said it said, Pfft, yes. Maybe if you're here, you can walk up to this bright light here in the doorway. Or if you can't walk up to that, maybe you can tell us what colour it is. Thanks for the super chat, Brad. George, how many spirits are here with us right now? Can you give us a number? Darlington, what area would you like us to go to tonight? Yeah, prison? I thought it said prison, yeah. What did you guys hear then? So we do have the prisoner's cell, which actually says prisoner's cell on it, but um, in the room that we're making Laura and Eric sleep in, <laughs> their bathroom is actually the former prisoner holding cell as well, which I have a sneaky suspicion might have been conjoined to this little room here before. Yeah, people are saying they heard prison or prisoner, yeah. I'm curious. Jared, it was you who asked that question. You verbalised it. Yeah, reading it. I've been oh, reading questions from okay. people, yeah. They don't seem to be responding to us. So do, do you have a problem speaking with Amy and I? Yeah. <gasps> oh, that was a direct response. <laughs> Perhaps now, Jared, you could ask them yeah. why. Why Why do you not want to speak to the women? Rude. I just want to say, guys, I think we just had one of our devices flash down here too. Maybe the lantern on the hanging beam there. Yeah, I think I saw that flash. Yeah. Okay. Everyone heard, yeah, that was clear as day, that one. Okay, yeah, that was definitely is there, responding to us. Is there a reason you don't want to talk to the women? Laura Vanessa said she loves the long hair as well. Thank you. Thank you, brothers. Me. I thought it said something about others then. Something about others. Others and then maybe me. Or me? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the others want to talk to us? Yeah. Maybe, and they were like women's voices as yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. It sounded like a different voice. I, I know like sometimes I'm like, oh, rude, they don't want to talk to us. But, you know, you think of spirits from a different time period. Maybe talking to like men, you know, is more the thing that they would do rather than talk to women. But maybe if there is a lady, can you step forward? Maybe Fanny Price? Can you say hello? Old spirits wants me to ask, do you not trust the ladies? Do you not trust the women? That's say witches. I don't know, that was my first A few people have said in the chat, like, were there any witches stuff here? I'm not sure if there was, but we have been, you have been called a witch a few times on our investigations, Ames. I always get, I don't know if you get that, I always get called a witch. And it might just be like what we're using, looks yeah, like witchcraft yeah. to them. Do you think that we're witches? None of this can hurt you, by the way. Stacy said Judge Jeffries doesn't like women. Ooh. I think Judge Jeffries is one of the judges upstairs. Yeah, people have um, reported a judge said to haunt here, but also a hangman, particularly on the staircase, who's quite mean. We've never encountered that, that I believe, um, here, but... Linda wants... Yeah, was that you, Eric? No. 
No. I heard a knock too, yeah. Okay, thank you. Linda wants us to ask, um, oh, how did you die? Or did, how did you die? Yeah, how did you die? Can you tell us that? I heard another noise down there. Could be the wind knocking on a door. Could be the wind? Yeah. Eric's looking pretty still, so it's definitely not him. Yeah. That sounded further than Eric, like in the bar as well. Guys, the mic on this phone might not be heaps great because we're streaming, but yeah, there are, there are noises all around us, but it is windy, so. Yeah, leave a comment if you can hear. Like, I definitely heard a knock somewhere Sorry. over here. Mm. Yeah. Thank you if that was you. If you can do two for us, something like this, we would really love that and appreciate that. Shelby said, women back then were seen as gossips or witches, so they couldn't like women. Mm. Yeah, we just so had, we had EMF down here too. Just had another EMF trip. Thanks, Matej, for the super chat there. So this is the, the that's the hanging beam there too, guys, the original hanging beam. So that's interesting that's going off. Would you rather just talk to Jared? Can you give us a sign that you just want to talk to Jared? Adoption. The camels. That was a weird one. At first I thought it said the pub, but then it paused and then said more. I don't know what everyone else heard, but let us know if you heard something that made sense then. Haunted, Haunted Spectre wants us to ask, do you need any help from us? Manifesting. <gasps> Manifesting. Manifesting, I heard that. Manifesting, yep, yep, yep. Okay. That is creepy. You need help manifesting? Is that because you think we're witches and that's what we're here to do? Thanks, Andon. Are you trying to form and manifest and show yourself to us tonight? Is there somewhere we should go to see you? Is your business? Heather's, Same yeah. Just said. Heather said, thought she heard thank you at one point, I think. It's almost like that was it's your something. Mm. Yeah, people, Linda heard manifesting, yep. Can you repeat uh, yourself for us or try to finish your message? We would really love to hear it. Alan said he used to work here and left after he was pushed going downstairs. No way. I think he's talking about this place. Oh, wow. Well, sorry that happened to you, Alan. Um, spirits, do you remember Alan? What was your problem with him? As you... I don't know what that said, but that was creepy, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> that was creepy. Serious Drain said, you're literally doing necromancy, so of course they're going to be calling you witches. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> we try. <laughs> what year do you think it is now? A few people have been asking. What year do you think it is now for you? Can you tell us what year it is? I think we all heard kissing. <laughs> We're like, is, did it say yeah. kissing? Oh, did the tripwire just go off? Cool, let's have a look. I thought I saw it light up through the crack in the floorboards. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Okay. Maybe we're good enough for kissing, but we're not good enough for talking to. Come on. Can we have a name, please? Mike wants us to know if Graham's there because they got a Graham last time they were here. It was a Graham, Graham there. Graham, are you around? I think. Mean... 
Jay wants to know, what were you feeling when you were here? Was that laughter? Tears, tears. It's what crime did you commit? Did you commit a crime? Asked Linda. Of course. Female. Female? That's weird. We've been talking about women and... Yeah. Interesting. Were you guilty or were you innocent? Someone said it wants, a uh, Melanie said it wants to kiss me. Oh. Oh, didn't think of that, did we? No. <laughs> Been assuming it's the women. Buck her up, Jared. Drew wants me to ask, is the spirit wearing a hat? Or can you tell us what you're wearing? It's a good question. Keith said, Paranormal Scholar is in the house. She certainly <laughs> is. Yes. <laughs> in the inn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, technically not a house. Close. Do you remember any of our names? I introduced us all earlier. Can you repeat one of our names to us? Like it said away. I thought it said go away, honestly. I heard go away. What did you guys in the chat hear? Are we know. irritating you? What's your problem? Go away. Yeah, people are hearing go away, away, yeah. Mm. I'm sorry if we're bothering you. Um, if you really would like us to go away, something to do to show us that you really mean it is go up to this red light here by this door. Is that something you can do? Can you tell us how you died? It's a huge... Thanks, Caps Paranormal. Appreciate it. The real was... I feel like that last one might have said honor. I don't know. Like Your Honor or something like that? Yeah. There was a courtroom here as well, guys, so I guess maybe that's relevant. Can you tell me anything that you know about this staircase? Why is this staircase significant? They want it. They want it. They want it. They want it. <gasps> I heard, can I just say what I heard? He follows me. That's what I heard, he follows me. I don't know if I heard that. What did you hear? Did anyone else in the chat hear that? It sounded almost like not English to me for a second. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I'd be very curious what you guys... I, I will say though, if that's what you heard and that's what it said, earlier in the night I did the I did some automatic drawing and I I wrote something on it as well, and I thought it said he, not he follows me, but he's with me, or he was with me, or something like similar to that. Mm. And it was up there. So maybe someone from somewhere else? Yeah. Or so, some, did something happen to somebody here? Did someone do something to you? Sorry. Fate. Fate. 
state. Yeah, they seem to definitely want to respond to that though, whereas before they weren't really interested in talking. So I'm sorry if something happened to you here. Perhaps you could tell us about it. Did somebody do something to you? Little Leota heard the name Harry maybe before. Experiment. Yeah, we've got we're going to do a special experiment here guys. So did you guys want to explain what that is before we move to the next room? Yeah, so we fought this up we, we got here we're chatting about what we can do tonight and Laura's brought along a Polaroid Yeah, camera, so an cameras. instant camera and also just a normal digital camera So we thought that perhaps we could harness the power of collective consciousness and involve you in this experiment at home by getting you to imagine something very special Yes, so we're going to show you sort of what we, an image that we want you to put into your mind. Basically, we're going to show you the staircase and we're going to show you the, I guess it's like a ornamental noose. That sounds really weird, but there is a noose hanging from the staircase. We want you to look at that image, put it into your mind and envision white light surrounding the noose, the noose head, I guess, specifically. Try and imprint that and send all of your energy and all of your vibes of that mental image through this live stream, however that works. And we're going to take some photos of that exact thing and see if anything manifests within those photos to see if you can bring it here to us for us to capture. On so it's like yeah. people around the world are manifesting something in our photo. That's what we're trying to do, guys. Yeah. yeah. So should I show them what, what we want them to think about? Yeah, so guys, we're, we're going to show you. you. So here we go, you can see there's the rope, bottom of the staircase, okay? So get that, that image um, in your head and try to picture a bright light at the end of the rope and we're going to take some photos of it and see if you guys at home can manifest something for us, okay? But in the meantime, while you're doing that, we're going to roll a clip to introduce the next room we're going to be investigating. Ready to go, guys? Ready? Here we go. If you're enjoying this live investigation so far, please remember to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. But now we're going to take you to room three, known for housing the spirit of Fanny Price. She is said to have worked at the inn and passed away here in the 18th century from tuberculosis. Since then, many have claimed to sight here and smell her throughout the inn. We've previously had very intelligent responses investigating this room, with our first investigation of the inn yielding direct responses here via a spirit box. Hello, are there any spirits around that want to talk? How many spirits are inside the inn? 25. But during another investigation with our friends from Adelaide's Haunted Horizons, we also had responses through Ghost Tube indicating Fanny may be around. Price. Price. Fanny. Price. That's Fanny's last name. Price. Oh. Fanny's last name is Price. We'll have another. Yeah, we'll have another chance when Alison does her session in a bit. Medicine. Medicine. Fanny Price was sick with tuberculosis. Blue device is ready to pass. Yeah. She was. Perfume. Perfume. They say that people can smell lavender perfume in Fanny's room. Fanny's room is this one right here, by the way. Fanny! Fanny. That said Fanny. Did that say Fanny? It mm -hmm. just said Fanny. Additionally, we had performed an SD session in this room in the past and felt as if multiple spirits were trying to come through. However, the most interesting moment was when Jared was feeling as though there was movement around him, then as if someone had touched the headphones he was wearing, which was even validated as this could actually be heard on audio. Hello. What? Uh, hello. Thanks for joining us. I feel like something just tugged at my headphones a little bit. I literally heard them creak as well. His ears. His ears? Did you just touch them? I tell you, he, I heard a click like up there right near his head and then he said it felt like someone touched his headphones. It literally, like that's where the noise came from. She said. Hello, thanks for joining us. Hello, thanks for joining us. Hello, thanks for joining us. 
Because of our past success investigating in this manner, we now want to perform a live investigation with you all in this room. Here we will perform another SD session, seeing someone wearing noise cancelling headphones while listening to a spirit box and relaying anything they hear come through. While everyone else asks questions, they will not be able to hear. Additionally, we also want to utilise ghost tube seer and ghost tube lens. This provides the wearer with a sensory deprived virtual environment to digitally scry white noise, while seer could produce images based off of environmental readings interpreted by AI. If you're interested in trying ghost tube lens for yourself, check this video's description for links. But now, let's hop back into investigating. back and yes we are live we are live from the skirid inn in wales one of the most haunted places here and yeah we've seen a few people mention in the what was that did you just hear a noise then yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's creaking outside definitely that was oh, weird was it well i thought it came from behind you but did you it just... seemed to come oh over here yeah. oh over here <laughs> there you go pod near you eric just went off like well before when we were rolling the clip okay um, so yeah, we're in Fanny's room. We're going to do, Eric's going to be on the SDs as we just explained. I'm going to roll Ghost Tube Seer in here. We're not going to be able to show you on the live stream how we normally do in my edited videos, the images that we get. I'll do my best to describe them, but I will upload them to Instagram or, or something so that you can actually see them after this live stream. So, you know, make sure you follow me at Amy's Crypt. Also, Laura posted a cool selfie of us earlier. So follow <laughs> Laura on Instagram as well. Paranormal Scholar. Yeah. Um, or is it Laura Roten on? Yeah, Laura E. Roten as well. Yeah. Cool. Too, yeah. Yes. Um, but should we get started? We should get started. Yeah. So Amy's putting on the lens. Okay. Excited. Eric's going under. So Eric's in now. Now someone asked to turn the lights off, guys, but remember we're not using a night vision, so you won't see much if I do that. Hopefully. So guys, if you've got any questions, start asking in the chat. Sorry, Laura. I was just going to say, hopefully they'll want to speak to us. Yeah. Because whoever was out on the stairs seems to have a bit of a problem talking with Amy and I. So <laughs> hopefully they'll be willing to commune in here. Now guys, Amy's putting on lens, but she'll be able to hear us. So she's all good. Eric's under now, I think. Okay. So presumably. Anyone? The girl. Oh, we've got the, the girl. The girl. The girl, okay. Hi. Hello. It's a friend. Is this Fanny? Eric? Oh, Eric's name just came through. Get me out. Are we speaking with the spirit known as Fanny? We believe this room may be your yes, room. Um, that was good. That was good. Because it's... Uh, I'm getting an image through. Oh, Amy's getting an image. Um, it very much just looks like a cigar with fire all around it, though, like a lot of fire. And then there's sort of like a streak coming through. There's so much. Uh, looks almost like a lightning really? streak, sort of. See. Can we ask that one spirit at a time communicate, please? Can you Ouch. give your words to Eric? in a way that he can understand. Oh, we got the word courthouse. That's relevant. Okay, thank you. Who are we speaking with, please? Ages. Can you tell us how old you are? That is... Will wants to know how old the you kids are. kids were just found. The kids were just found. I haven't seen them for a while. Whose okay. children are they? Are they yours? No. Vicky wants to know about the judge. What can you tell us about the judge? It's time to grieve. It's time to grieve? Mm. Grieve? For the children? What happened to them? Yeah. Sammy reckons Fanny may have been pregnant or believes Fanny might have been pregnant. Can, can you tell us if you had any children? Whoa. Wind is killing That was wind, but that was so scary <laughs> just here. That it's window behind Amy. Stormy. It's very yeah. stormy. 
Are you seeing anything, Ames? Not yet. If there is anyone here, you've probably never seen anyone use this before. So if you can come close to me and use your energy, maybe you can show me something. Right. I would love to see you. Perhaps you could show Amy the children. Get me out. Get me out. Are, are you okay? Is there something wrong? I had a terrible pain in my stomach. Terrible pain in the stomach. Is this Fanny? What happened to you, Fanny? Can we help? See that? Are you recording, Ames? I am actually, yep. yeah. Okay. Good. Just in case. Yeah, that's good. What happened? Why do you have a pain in your stomach? Muppet. Little Muppet. little Leota says mis miscarriage maybe or snakes. Snakes. Okay. Mike said maybe a stabbing. Mark that. Perhaps you could show Amy what happened. Why do you have a pain in your stomach? Could you show an image to Amy? Yes, Kel. This is actually live. Will sick or stabbed, maybe. Apologies. You don't have to apologize. It's okay. Thank you for sharing with us. What happened to you? What? The referee. The judge? Is this about the judge? Did he act as a referee in your case? Seven. Seven. Is that the number of spirits here with us? I just started getting a tightness here. Well, Something, man. Yeah. Missed it. Amy's getting a feeling in the chest. Okay, so we've got stomach pains from Eric. And then I feel my anxiety is like way up here from being live, just so everyone knows. But yeah, I've been more Forget settled it. since we've gone live. Just, just a note. What happened to you? Yeah. If I was there with you. What happened to you? If there was an injustice, we have people watching this. You can tell them. You can tell them what happened. You want to know something? Yeah, yes. we want to know. We want to know. We do. If there was a wrong that was done, say it. Uh, right. Stairs. The stairs. stairs. What about the stairs? Write this wrong. I'm getting shown an image. In the back. In the back. It's a man in a black suit on like a street, like say a white street. And he has a very strange shaped head. I want to say like maybe he should be holding an umbrella, but it's not an umbrella. It's actually like his head. Is There's this second. Very large, weird shape. Could it be like the, the executioner, the Seven. hangman? It, mm, I don't, it doesn't look, look like a traditional hangman. It's a man in a suit, like I can see the white collar and cuffs. Could it be a priest maybe, or is that Probably closer touching to a story? priest? No. No. no not a, can you not tell a me who the man is that I just saw? Something. There's something on his head. Is he a bad man? You seemed to react quite strongly when we said he was a priest. He was not a priest. Who was he? Don't be scared. Who was he? You just want the count to heaven. Thanks, James. We appreciate it. If there was an injustice, please tell us. We're here to listen. The judge top hat. Yeah, people are... Getting vibes of someone like that. Oh, okay. Oh, um, he's got an image. Here we go. I've got an image of a, a woman. Um, she kind of looks like she's hunched yeah. over a bed on white sheets. Yeah. She's wearing Train. fully white. She looks... Toilet. Sad. She's... 
actually kind of holding her chest here a bit and her Ooh. face like this. That's interesting, Sammy. You just said you were feeling your chest. Yeah. And um, she just looks like she's hunched over sad. And I would say she looks old, worldy. There's no. Can you tell me about the lady? Is don't, this Fanny? Fanny don't, Price? Don't forget, guys, we'll show you these pictures later on Instagram. On the rays. This lady looks sad. Why is she sad? Can you tell us? I got munchkins, you know. Okay. <laughs> Ames, um, like the kids. a few people like Sherry and a couple of others are asking, was there anything to do with giving birth or anything like that in that picture that you saw? I've no. He was sort of started doing just the top half, so I'm not sure about giving birth. I mean, perhaps if she was mm. level. Is that an image of you who we're talking with, who's speaking through Eric? Are you the woman? Get my legs. Get your legs. What Can about you please your legs? Say it? Stop stuff. What do you want us to stop? I'm scared. This scared. Oh, scared. Can I just say as well, if you've watched my last video here, when we did the Estes, it very much felt scared. like there was a domestic dispute going on. I remember like that, yes. There was one spirit, and like yes. something bad had happened to a woman here from a man. Fancy. Yes, I remember that. I think I was on the Estes for that yeah, one, right? Yeah. And it seemed like, yeah, man and woman arguing or something like that. Was there an argument here? Can you tell us about that? What? The argument that we were just talking about. Did that happen? Have you... Did someone touch me right now? No, no none of us are touching. Okay, okay, go on. <laughs> Sorry. Ten. 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 Is that how many spirits are here? Maybe you can go up to one of the red lights beside the bed as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we've got REM pods over here, guys. As usual. You have to get out. Another message to it's... leave. Why it's... do we need to leave? It's trying to count. Is there someone here who doesn't want us here? You can tell us. Number. Keep getting 10 and 7 and yeah, just said a couple of numbers. Counting. Yeah. The walls. What about the walls? It's like in the walls, sorry. In the walls, right. Ooh. Are the numbers significant to the walls? I mean, do we know Fanny's um, job? Career, people are asking. There are four of us. There are four of us. And, uh, Thank you. Fanny worked here. She worked here? Um, I'm not sure if she was a landlady or a landlady? Okay. A maid, uh, I'm not too sure. Okay. Is that correct, Fanny? Did you work here? Yes. Yes, okay. Thank Thanks. you, Fanny. Thank you. Were you happy to work here? Through this. Or dung. Could this also be like Welsh? Yeah, that was the sound of like a foreign language, and didn't Red. it? What's red, Fanny? Get out. Are you telling us to get out or somebody else? From those doors. Who do you want to leave? For some reason, I feel like it's not us, like somebody else. Again, like maybe that domestic, like, so, you know. Plus, plus more. How Thank about... You. Thank you, Fiona. We appreciate that. Was there someone buried in the wall, someone asked? I don't think so, not that we know of. Um, yeah, people who get out. Oh. Yes, please. Oh, Amy's got an image. What are you saying? There are four of us. There's four of us. I want to say it looks like an old-looking wall. Like, I want to 
want to say like castle or like um what like an old cathedral maybe it's like church sort of so is it there is red in this image like up here above the yep. sky tickets up um so there is red naturally so could it be relevant to the in the walls that eric mentioned it could because like the walls have like crevices in them there's one it's like an archway like a hole in the wall right and one of them has something red in it i know he mentioned red earlier is there something hidden in the walls here scammed I would say this image Thanks, is Shelley. abstract. Sorry, He's I would back. say this is He's back? an abstract image, but cards, cards. Who is back? Suddenly, guys, I just, want to, to... I just want to point out. He said twenty fifth before me, and then we got the number twenty five in this room um, mm -hmm. during one of our previous investigations mm -hmm. when we asked how many spirits were in the room. Oh, sorry, in the building, twenty five is what we got. Twenty seventh. Oh, twenty seventh now. The government. Project. Can you tell us about the Devil's Cup? Highland girl wants to know. Power. Power, okay. Maybe that takes away the Devil's Power. Yeah, what happens to the cup if we pour, pour liquid in it? There's not. That's not. Pieces. <laughs> There's not, because it's There's not, not currently liquid. In yeah, it. it's it empty. Is empty yeah. yeah, correct. Accused. Is that accused, did he say? Missed that one. Can you tell us about the courtroom? Is the courtroom... Nobody. Nobody. Courtroom's not associated with this room? Someone close to me again. I can't hear you. He can't hear us, but guys, I fire there's no one close to him. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that wind pick up? Stealing. Stealing. That wind just picked up. It's really Stealing. loud. I just asked about the courtroom. Yeah. I know there is a story of funny. a man named John Crowfer what? hanged for stealing sheep. And he many people claim he haunts here. Don't want to go back. Lives. What it's... did you steal? It was this. Can you show yeah, it's me? It's coming. guessing people can hear the wind too they said oh cool that's good because <laughs> it sounds it creepy sounds here <laughs> is there a specific message Anna. you would like to give us for this week it's in the southern part what's in the southern part of this building Or somewhere else. Matt asks, can you touch the light, the red lights on the bed? Bayless. Oh, <laughs> Aim, that was, <laughs> that, oh, was no. a, that was your window. I was like, is there a window there? <laughs> there is a window there. Okay. <gasps> How is the pain? Is the pain gone? Yeah, your chest, Aims. It's good, yeah. Chest for better. It's weird you said you got a woman holding a chest, so that is bizarre. Yeah, oh, please do. Please yeah. help us. That's very nice of you. And I'm getting another image. Oh, an image, yes. Uh, Go on. What are you saying, Ames? Field of flower. You know what? This is very Dad. purple. It's abstract, so it doesn't look heaps. Like an exact field of flowers, but it's yep. purple, like lavender. <gasps> she is said to smell like lavender. Yes. There's a thing about perfume, right? It's definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. And he, like yep. Spirit, spirit, favorite scent. spirit this agrees. This is actually, yeah, this is. <laughs> makes sense. Yes, it does make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite flower. Oh, we should have bought you some lavender, Fanny. Would Did you, you like that? that? Did you get that? Yeah, we got it. Oh, thank you for that. That's so nice. KJ Haunting said, does anyone get the vibe someone's holding his hands, the way he's holding his hands out? Yeah, it does sort of look like that, doesn't it? Can you hold Eric's hands? That's weird. He just moved them. Well, as I said that? It's almost as if I forgot for a second he couldn't hear you. 
because the way he responded yeah. was so in tune with what you just said. Fear. Fear. We're not afraid. We just want to talk. Afraid. Public. Fanny's room smells like lavender, said Spooky Dookie. Yeah, I think that is definitely uh, one of the things. That's one of the ghost stories. Can you tell us your favourite flower? Dog. There were dogs in the What we've been getting. But... Better. Oh, I'm getting another image. Rubber. What are you saying, Ames? Um, I want to say a staircase that is red sort of looking going up and there's something at the top of it like I want to say boots boots like black boots something in Welsh like there's someone standing at the top you got points there's a wall next to it the staircase there's also something flashing in and out of there's Something peeping out from under the staircase, as if like you can see it under the staircase. It's a little white face or something. Can't keep. Can you tell me about the Can't person you're seeing? Stairs. On the stairs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Forward. Oh, he just said stairs. Forward. And we've got that image. Do we need to go to the stairs? That's weird. We can, I mean, we can head out. We're about to go to rooms um, one and two, so we'll be going on the stairs in a moment. Was that the person talking to us on the stairs that I just saw? Come on, then. Come on, then. Maybe we should go. Do you have any yeah. sticks? Yeah, Ames will. Better um, move to... Okay, I'm going to cut this. So, guys, Ames is going to cut. Time, though, yeah, I think so, yeah. We'll go into room one and two, and we'll check the stairs out on the way, I think. Okay, I am officially creeped out actually. Yeah. Um, oh, should should someone you. should someone bring him out? <laughs> Do you have a way of doing that, Laura? Without we're... making him jump, no. Yeah, we haven't figured that out either. Ah. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, Aim. So, uh, do you want to quickly debrief us? Okay, we're just gonna let's just walk to the stairs, check it, and then we can roll the clip for the next segment. Is that okay? Yeah, and don't forget guys, we'll share those pictures that Amy saw to Instagram community, all of that stuff. So you'll yeah. see that soon. So follow us. But let's just quickly run out and see Just watch your step because it's dark out there. <laughs> yeah. I'm just really curious. I would actually look up here. Up here. It's at the top of the staircase. Okay. Let's just show the guys what's up there. Oh, watch. Laura's got a camera there, guys. Oh, is there a heal? There's a helium on oh, no. it. Did you touch that cord? Yeah, no. I may have. Yeah, I may oh, have. Okay. It's not a helium balloon. It's like, I don't know what that is. Okay. Weird that you saw staircase. That was cool. That was cool. Last time we did that experiment, we did it with KJ Haunting, so he's in the chat right now at Dark Edges, where someone did the, the seer goggles and the STs and some of the things sort of seem to overlap. So that's cool that we got some of that again now. But we do have another area to explore, so I think we'll fill you in on where we're headed next. If you've been enjoying this live stream investigation, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We also have brand new limited edition Halloween merch that has just gone on sale linked below, with announcements for our Halloween episodes coming really soon too. But it's now time for us to move through rooms one and two of the Skirret Inn. Room two is actually the former courtroom at the inn and a place where Fanny Price occasionally visits, where a mysterious door resides, and also where a supposed former judge has been sighted. And then there's room one, which contains a strange bathroom, which actually used to be a former prisoner holding area. Many claim something dark lingers here, and it's a place I've personally felt strange energy in before, but also where we've had eerie responses through on past investigations that seemed relevant to us. Can you tell us how many people were hanged here? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it just told me to shut up. <laughs> well, that's a bit nasty. Talking to Jared like that. How many spirits are here? Three or... Three or... Three or... All right, give us a sign. 
Tell us something that will wow us. The Australian. <gasps> oh my <laughs> god! We will now make our way through these spaces and see if we can capture any intelligent communication from those said to linger here. And we're back! Uh, we, before we start investigating these next two areas, we want to fill you in on our earlier experiment. If you yeah. weren't on the live stream at that time, we did, uh, I guess we took a few Polaroid photos of an area and asked everyone on the chat to visualize something in their mind about those photos and see if it could sort of manifest itself into our pictures. And we're going to show you right now. Did the experiment work? What do you guys think? So here we go. <laughs> so here are the three photographs and unfortunately it doesn't seem to be a big white yeah, light around the booth. There's no other way of saying it, but of course... Oh, they can't all be winners. We no. failed. <laughs> you guys didn't manifest hard enough. <laughs> Next time we need to like fully go into that, I don't know how we Meditative can... stage yeah. and really push that energy out. Yeah. yeah, maybe we need to show a different image or I don't know yeah. how we can like... But it was a fun experiment regardless. Yeah. And hopefully you all joined yeah. in and felt like you were really sending that to us. So. Next time guys, back home, you'll need to try harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> so I'm feeling blunt tonight. So Amy, where where are we now, and what's what's the story with this room, and what are we going to be investigating? Oh, it's oh, that's a sign. Okay. Can the you guys is... hear the wind picking up? Can I ask though? Because I listen, 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 listen. Okay, I've got ghost tube running. It just said listen, listen, as we were like listen about the wind, yeah. right? Um, that door though, I left that closed. Did anyone remember opening I remember you saying, Jared, I'm leaving this closed, you're my witness, and I remember like saying yes. Um, well I've been leaving it. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I... back. I've been leaving it just like this all night because last time we were here, we had a lot of like weird... I want to... It's the chimney. Yeah, it's so creepy. I want to say door play, like the doors were moving as in they were opening or shutting, but it was always like never when we were actually looking at it. So we would come in and be like, I swear that door's closed. Or in some cases we would hear a door open and then see the doors open and, you know, we were a bit like, I swear. Keep recording. Keep recording. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to do something for us? Are you going to show us or talk to us? So windy. It is so windy. It sounds like there's something scratching. In it's there. weird that you say that this door may have opened though, because I just want to show everyone. There's no windows in here. Can I just show everyone? It's literally a dressing room. Did you open this cupboard, Ames? No. Uh. Okay. Oh, actually, we were looking in there. Yeah. We? yeah. Okay. So we we may have opened one. that one. Yeah. yeah. But we we're just sussing out because people say there's weird things about this door here. Um. Is that really hard to? Um, and we were just having a peep in there. So I reckon that one was us. I'm not sure on this door though, because I have been keeping that locked. Leah well, says locked, but... maybe the ghost has a stutter. I actually don't know why we're getting words through twice like that. That might actually be a technical problem we need to look that... into. Yeah. Because I don't feel like that normally happens, especially mm -hmm. two in a row like that. If we get... I felt like there was a lot when I did the STs that were repeated. Constantly. Repeated stuff? Like... Yeah, I didn't say mm. half of them because everything's going so quickly. Yeah, right. But there was a lot of stuff that was repeated. Okay. Maybe yes. someone's quite desperate to talk then. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So, um, this door though, we have, so there is a story about this door, isn't there? Well, some people say there's like weird energy or something dark around this door. I don't know where that comes from or why it's like that. Um, but yeah. Ask. Um, can you tell us about this door? Is this all right if it's left open or do you prefer it closed? I will say though, this is a room, room um, two in general, where we've had weird feelings tonight and you've experienced some weird stuff in here, right? Yeah, like so just... when Eric and I first arrived, the atmosphere in this room felt quite different from the rest of the place. And as soon as we walked in, it just felt very charged, very heavy. When you go to different locations, you kind of get a sense for the different atmospheres of different places in this room definitely had that sort of unsettling charge I to say something. I wasn't looking over there because I was just trying to see if somebody was out there, but then I can't really think why anybody would be out there in that storm. I swear I just heard like the... Suffocate! 
a voice, like an old man voice. What was that? Suffocate. Suffocate. So you've had the word suffocate and maybe you saw a figure outside? Yeah. I heard a voice. You heard a voice, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and I was just talking about feeling that uneasy feeling and then we get suffocate come through. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I do want to... Um, Fanny died of tuberculosis. So I don't know if that is linked. But I know last time we were here out on the staircase, we had a lot of words come through that were... You would have seen it in the overlay that were very specific to Fanny Price's story. So and you were holding your chest and saying you had weird chest feeling yeah, during that. Like... Brandy. Brandy. You want I a think, drink? Don't think we've got any. <laughs> Actually, the bar would have some brandy, I'm pretty yeah. sure, but we don't have any. We're not going to steal from the, the bar. Devil's Cup. When you were doing the Estes, you said you've had stomach pains. Yeah, some really point. bad stomach pain. I said I had a bad stomach ache, and soon after it kind of went away. It was really. Okay. After, like almost immediately after you said that. Amy felt something in her chest. Had pain so, in her chest down mm. here, like, or down here, I guess. So is there mm. someone here who is affecting us physically? Why are you doing that? Someone called Brandy in the chat said, I'm right here. <laughs> hey, Brandy. <laughs> You're a fine girl. Do you want to swap up? Do you want me to hold this for a bit so you can be on yeah. for a few My bits? arm is killing me. There's Jared! Can we actually just go out here? Because I feel like you guys had that vibe when we got here. Just out here. And I want to just sit at this table. That's okay. Oh, do you want to show them the Ouija board? Yeah, I'm just going to sit here. So if there is anyone here, can you come and take a seat with us at, at the coffee table here? Maybe come to this device, you might be able to make it, make some noises or react for us. Melanie, just FYI, if you go to ghosttube.com, we've detailed exactly how all our apps work I there. Hear I hear you. Thank you. It's responding to you, Jared. Yes. Thank you. Um, can you maybe tell us your name or tell us about this place? Um, can you tell us what you want to talk about? Maybe you can guide the conversation. Can you ask about the glass? Can you tell us about this glass here, which we'll talk to you guys about in a minute, but can you tell us about this glass here? Everyone likes your haircut, Jared. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> I forgot that I haven't seen it yet. I actually didn't do it because I wasn't expecting to be on the camera tonight. I didn't put any product in or anything. Anyway. Lisa's asking, do you want to communicate with us? Can you give us a sign? So, guys, the glass. I need to talk to you about this glass. So, um... We were doing a, a Ouija board session earlier, off camera. Um, we were just using a plant shed and then we decided to use a, um, a thimble, right? But it was a bit too small for all of our fingers. So we, we went downstairs and we asked for a shot glass. Um, we're using the shot glass and after a few minutes of using it, we discovered that it had a crack in it. So we actually did have a camera rolling. Sorry, I said we weren't recording, but we actually were. And we went back um, and looked at the camera footage and the first frame of that um, of that video all of our fingers were on the glass and the crack was there because we were hoping maybe it formed while we were using it but the thing is we must have hit record whilst our fingers were already on it because when i went and got this glass from downstairs i don't recall it having a big crack like that um and i feel like the bartender wouldn't have given me a cracked glass like that either. So we thought it was very weird. We can't say it was paranormal because when we reviewed the footage, the very first frame, it was already cracked. But it it was weird that it took us, what, five to ten minutes before any of us noticed this massive crack in the side of this glass. Um, I don't know how it looks on camera, but it's very obvious. Also, there was a lot of odd movement as well. The glass was. was starting to tip to actually lift up on one side and not... It was moving as well, but it was yeah. it was acting quite strangely. And before we did this, we all looked at this and we were all like looking at the glass and just, you know, fiddling around with it. And none of us noticed that until five or so minutes into the 
experiment. So that's why I was asking about the glass. Can you tell me about the door over here? We left it closed before. Who, who keeps opening the door? Someone just said shut the door properly. I, it's actually open right now. So I haven't been shutting it properly. I've been shutting it like this. I can probably shut it properly though. That'll be really impressive if that op opens. Amy was holding her chest before. Can you tell us what that was about or who that was in relation to? Why have you done quiet? That's the fireplace. That just... is the wind the fireplace. It's very creepy. Tagging the fireplace wind. So you can hear a high pitch squeak as well. That's the sign outside, like going crazy in the wind. It's crazy. Can you tell us about this staircase here? What used to happen there? Or can you tell us about the... Um, the man that hangs around the top of the staircase. Is the hangman that hangs around up there or does he hang around in one of the rooms, Ains? I forgot. The hangman generally on the stairs, they okay. say. Can you tell us about the man on the stairs? Someone said they thought they heard footsteps. There is, um, I'll show you, this fireplace here. And it is definitely making noise whenever there's a big gust of wind. So that might be what you're hearing. Okay, someone asked us to go to a different room. Okay. We do we did want to go to room one as well. Should we head there? Yeah, let me take that from you. Okay. Grab this. So let's go to room one. Oh also we were using the Ouija board obviously to communicate and we had some stuff come free uh, and it said spelled out H E N. We Hen. know there is a Father Henry Vaughan said to haunt here. We don't know if it was him or somebody else coming through, but it was quite, it was pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, yeah. and also I wasn't using the board because I needed to be the pair of eyes because these three were all blindfolded when it came through. So yeah. I think that's quite significant that we were getting it to move two letters in an intelligent way and it was responding to yes and no when all three participants were blindfolded. So, yeah, so that was a cool experiment to sort of re remove the bias of being able to see, you know, where your finger's headed, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's head to room That's one. The soft part. Do not go there. All right, got it. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, let's head to room one. There's anyone on the staircase as well? We're going into this room here. Feel free to follow us. And this was actually part of the original courthouse. So the room we were just in, and this room used to be joined. This wasn't always here, this wall here. Okay, so, so here we are. I feel like we haven't had as much in this room in particular before, but the bathroom in here has been very active for us in the past. So we might head straight in there. Yeah. Um, now everyone here on Amy's Crypt is going to be like, not another bathroom, but this one is unique. Yeah. I've never seen a bathroom with a staircase in it before. Yeah. This so let's go in there and have a look. So guys, this is a bathroom. Check that out. How's that for a tub? All right, here we go. Coming down the stairs. I'm just going to pop goes to there so it's still. So this, Amy, is apparently the former holding area. Yeah, so this was, I guess we got, um, we felt like we had the word prisoner on the staircase earlier, so maybe they were wanting to lead us here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but this was... Daughter. Daughter. Thank you, Rickon. Daughter. Are you looking for your daughter? Do one of us look for... Can you hear him? We can hear him, yeah. We can hear someone. Okay, it's definitely picked up as soon as we've come yeah. in here. That's a strange voice, isn't it? <laughs> and it even has like English accent sort of thing as well going on. <laughs> can can you hear? Yeah. yeah. We can hear someone. Can you tell us who we're listening to? 
Or maybe you can tell us how many people are in here. Because it feels like somebody else. Can you hear him? Like there's someone mm. else referring to him. Yeah. How many people are we listening to exactly? Do you remember us? Do you remember Jared and I? Someone said posh voice, yep. Did sound posh, posh English, yeah. Is there a reason why you wanted us to come here? Forty-five. How many? I asked how many people were here, but I do not. Would forty-five like people from? fit in this room? Yeah. <laughs> you know what, though? I mean, it could be about the building, maybe. Like forty-five people here in this place, maybe. You know. That... Yeah. Mm. Is forty-five how many are at the Skirrit Inn? Is that correct? Did you mean something else? Somebody wants to know, did someone die of a heart attack here? Kyle said 45 reasons to come to this room. <laughs> it's a very crowded bathroom. I'm going to show you, we've done this before. We did this at Crescent Sanatorium um, and Prison once as a trigger object. Uh, I showed a seer image, so I'm going to get that up. You guys will actually. This is the man on top of the staircase. Or the boots. It looks oh, like yeah. the boots yep. of a man. It's like someone's legs, yeah. Yeah. Right, so that's what you just saw now. Yeah. Yeah, in the other room. So I'm just going to op open this and invite anyone who might be here to come and look at this image. Maybe you know who this person is. Maybe you recognize these stairs. Get a good look. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you, yeah. Well, um, yeah, because there's a staircase behind you as well, isn't there, in here? It could yeah. be in here. Yeah, could true. be the staircase. Now, I'll put Ghost Tube Original back on. I'm just going to leave it and see if we get... Laurie that is. Laurie said trigger, yes. Yeah, so we're trying to use that as a trigger. Yeah. We used the Sally, at the Sally house, that image we got at Villisca as a trigger as well. Oh, and that yeah. worked too. That worked. <laughs> that worked. That triggered all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Can you tell us who that person is? How do you guys feel in here? Any vibes? No. I mean, it's very cold, but I think it's a cold room. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so, very windy, so. Yeah. But no, it, room two, in my opinion, is yeah. definitely has the strongest even, atmosphere. Even when it was quiet, I felt like it was still tense. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I was going to say, like, I'm not getting any vibes in this room. I don't know if anyone at home through the phone can feel that. I've been in this room, though, where I've been like, ooh, it's like really freaky. Mm. All my hand, hairs are standing on end. But I feel okay right now. Well, so. this is the room last time we were here. Amy was like, can you give us something that's really relevant, that'll really wow us? And it said, I like the Australians or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> in that, different voices. Was cool. It was really cool. And I feel like we spent a long time in here and it took a long time for it to sort of amp up and start giving us responses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel pretty at ease in here. Yeah. How do you feel, Jared? I, yeah, I mean, it... So one, some people have been saying like, oh, can you record with the lights off and stuff? But the reason why we're not guys is we don't have a night vision to stream. So like, that's why we've got all the lights on. Um, but you know, I, you know, they, does, yeah, does the darkness, would that change the vibe if we had the lights off? Well, there's a lot of like ancient belief about this. Even the idea of when you would go into a church and you light the candle because you light the candle to usher in mm. good and divinity. And that's the dark is representative of the bad, yeah. the devil. So the idea of doing a ghost hunt in the dark 
as well as being sensory deprived and thus your other senses heighten and perhaps make you more in tune, mm -hmm. yeah. there's also the idea that you are inviting in the dark of the unseen in, in a very physical way as well. So perhaps having the lights on does have an effect. Yeah. And Nevermore says, bigger the storm gets more energy for the house to amp up. And yes, the wind is very... is is. It's going out there. I don't know if you guys at home can hear it, but yeah. it is very strong. And it's a very rickety old building. Yeah. So yes, it is. Can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we head back to room two then and see if we get any more yeah. responses? Yeah. Or... Let us know at home, guys, if there's any um, any other experiments in particular you want us to do in the rooms. Um, and yeah, we can try it. Give it a try. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's head back up then. To be fair, we probably can turn off the lights because I do have the light on the camera on. So, I'll turn, try. turn them off as we go. Oh, there you go, for you nighties. Joe. What's that? I might just stand here for a second. Oh, at the top of the staircase. Alright, we're going to stand at the top of the staircase, guys, and see if we can get any words here as well. If you've got any questions, guys, for the, for the spirits, let us know. I'm, I'm reading the chat. Uh, if there was somebody standing out here and you were trying to show yourself to us, uh, can you step... Can you feel me? Can you feel me? I'd love to feel you if you can touch me. I've heard stories of people getting rope burns around their necks. Dude. Yeah. Um, can you do that to me? No one else, just me. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to like bring that. I think on Bo else. Bojo said put Jared in the basement. <laughs> Why is it always me going in the basement? <laughs> I actually don't think we're allowed to access the basement anyway, yeah, so I can't do that. Sorry. Down there. Lock Jared in basement alone. No thanks. <laughs> Why did you want us to come here? You seem to keep mentioning the stairs. you tell us please we're not here to judge you we're here to listen oh sorry bj it's bj not bj sorry sorry bj i've been reading your name wrong this whole time i apologize <laughs> i might show you that image one more time here yeah and again what does this image mean to you? Can you tell us? So if there's someone here and you can see this, I don't know if that's you or you were showing me this person. Maybe you can use this to talk to us though. I'm going to go stoops back open now. Okay. I believe I can fly. Someone just asked me to say that, sorry. Oh, I was like, that's, <laughs> what? Did you get possessed? <laughs> no. Can you tell us about who's at the top of the staircase, please? We did okay. get something about touching just before. Yeah, Laura could just feel you then. Everyone can hear the wind. You are funny. Huh. Who's funny? Do you remember any of our names? Someone asked us just to move the rope to trigger maybe. So do you want to just do, can you reach out their aims and just move that for us? Yeah. There you go. There you are, moving the rope. Okay. Perhaps you were denied a voice in life. Perhaps your story was not told. Perhaps people didn't listen to you. We're here to listen to you tonight. And not only that, there are many hundreds of people here to listen to you also. Perhaps you can't see them, but they're listening through this device. So if there's something that you want to say, Now's your chance to do so. Thanks, Misty. Can 
Can you knock for us if you can hear us? Like this. Ooh, a baby. We got a lot of baby related stuff yeah. during the Estes. Estes yeah. yeah, didn't we? Oh, well, you wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Sorry, you guys know. You were just the one saying it. Yeah, yeah we had yeah. some baby stuff come through. I don't know about the historical context about that, but it was a theme for tonight anyway. Can you tell us about the baby? See you, BJ. Sorry, I got your name wrong. You said that the children needed to be grieved for. Can you explain to us what you mean by that? There is a graveyard next door and that is where Fanny is buried. Um, that <laughs> didn't sound like that was inside. That did. Like a, uh, is the graveyard somewhere you'd like us to visit? I don't know if there are any children over there, but we can visit tomorrow morning. Can you move the chain above their head just here, please, for us? Someone asked her, me to ask that. That'd be bloody freaky. Crying. <laughs> Crying. You don't need to be sad. I've got that image of the lady that looks sort of sad and maybe Stupid. crying. <laughs> Stupid, funny. Who's stupid and who's crying? Should we try room two for a bit and then maybe yeah. we can wrap up? So Lisa, I don't think we'll be able to go to the cemetery tonight because it's way too windy. Oh, but we yeah. we might visit like later, like tomorrow or something, maybe just on our own, but it won't be on this live chat, I'm afraid. We usually, and we did this last time, we usually go like the morning after, of, you know, we get responses that lead to the cemetery, churchyard, and just sort of pay our respects. Um, we don't generally film that, or but we'll probably be over there tomorrow. Here. Here. Kind of as I was stepping like in here. Into room two. Okay. It's got the word here. If you are here, can you come up? I might actually put that on here. Ooh, ghost tip on a Ouija board. I don't think we've done that before. <laughs> Haven't we? I don't think so. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Ooh, granddaughter. A daughter before. Yeah. That can I just say that voice sort of sounded like um like an old guy. You know the creepy old guy from Family Guy. I don't know if anyone watches that show, but <laughs> granddaughter, you know. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's just what it sounds like to me. I'm just telling you. Maybe that's like related to um the graveyard because I know there's like family burials there. Yep. You know. Now we've been feeling energy in this room, and we would like to know who is here. Or why you are here? Thanks, Matej. See you later. Yeah, let's turn off the lights. Everyone's been asking, turn off the lights, turn off the lights. There you go. Yeah, that lamp can stay on. That that's that's moody. That's good mood. Yeah. yeah, good yeah. mood lighting. Someone's asking me to say something in in Welsh, but I don't know how to pronounce. I'm afraid. And if I did, I don't know what I'm saying. Could be something rude, I don't know. Laura wants to know, is the baby his daughter? Can you tell us about the baby? Yes, Kel, that's the one. Herbert the pervert, that's who, I, that's who it sounds like. Can you tell us anything about the baby? Yes, Brandy, this is the same room. Sorry, Princess, we can't light a candle because we don't want to burn the place down, I'm afraid. Oh, Jesus. And I don't think we have a candle anyway. We don't, no. If there's anyone here you can hear my voice, um, can you tell us about the devil's cup downstairs? 
Last time we were here, we got responses through that said devil a lot and we felt as though someone wanted that cup filled up again. Is that true? So we might just keep this running if we get any more responses through. Um, but I do just want to say a few things to sort of like wrap up and just thank everybody on the live chat. Um, everyone just for watching, chatting to each other, anyone who sent uh, super chats, super thanks, uh, signed up as a member, donated memberships to other people, that warms my heart so much and like I just want to say thank you. It's so cool to have this community here on YouTube and do live events like this. If you did enjoy this video, you know all the stuff to do, like comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> but Jared and I would really love to do more live streams in the future. So we're hoping that this is a bit of a success. So definitely leave a nice comment if you enjoyed this and you want to see more or perhaps suggest a place, especially if we've already visited and investigated, you want a follow up investigation. Maybe we can go back and do a live stream. Um, let us know any feedback, things that were good about it, things that could have been done better or things that you liked that kind of stuff because we're just trialing this later in the week i will have my halloween trailer coming out i'm so like pumped when you if you've watched till the end of the last video i just posted at the dark edges you would have seen a sneak peek but you'll see even more in the trailer i'm really really pumped for october there's no video uh this coming weekend so i hope this live stream makes up for that we are traveling back to australia so we'll be on a plane for like 40 hour, I don't know how long the We skip is. a day, so we lose, we lose time. We lose a day somewhere. <laughs> we lose time somewhere. So, Thanks, Wheelie. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, videos will be back in October. Also, I want to say thank you to Laura and Eric for joining yes, us. Yes, thanks for joining us, guys. It's been a pleasure. It's been yeah, a pleasure. It's, fantastic. it's been really good seeing you in your element and doing a live. We oh. don't do anything like this normally, so thank you for having us. <laughs> it's always good to investigate with these guys. I'm going to leave links uh, to Paramount's can't even talk the paranormal scholar <laughs> i'm gonna leave links to their work below definitely go subscribe check out their work they're great it's always good just to hang out as well and definitely. yeah yeah we've had, had a good time same, had a nice same. meal as well i had a bit yeah. of a hangout and a chat yeah. we also did some investigating off camera guys and had a bit of fun with that so yeah yeah so good um but yeah i just want to say thank you again um follow us on social media uh yeah, what else do I need to say, Jared? <laughs> oh, I feel like we're missing something, and as soon as I hit end, we're going to think of it, yeah. and eh, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you I'm can't doing. end it like that, Jared. <laughs> we love you guys, um, but we are going to duck out, uh, and we just want to say thank you again. Get ready for October, because videos are going to be really big. <laughs> but let's roll the exit. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.